In this video, I want to talk about generated subgroups and cyclic subgroups. Let's let S be a subset of G containing all the possible products of A, B, and C in their inverses. So as an example, some elements of S might look like A, B, A, C inverse, or C inverse, A inverse, B, B, C, etc. So we can have repetition, we can repeat the factors, and we can multiply them in any order, but we want to contain all the possible products as well as the inverses. Then we can see that this is a subgroup. It does contain all products, and by definition, it also contains the inverses. Then we say S is the subgroup of G generated by A, B, and C. Let's look at an example. Let's consider Z12. I want to find the subgroup of Z12 generated by 3 and 4. Well, let's see, it would contain 3. It would also contain 3 plus 3. And now it needs to contain 3 plus 6, as well as 3 plus 9, which would be 12. Divided by 12 has a remainder of 0. And we can see out now that if we actually combine any of these, we get a number that's still in this set. Now let's consider 4. We need 4. We also need 4 plus 4. 4 plus 8 would be 12, which gets me back to 0. And now we need to look at all combinations of these. Let's see. 3 plus 6 was 9. 3 plus 9 is 12, which is 0. 3 plus 4 is 7. 3 plus 8 is 11. 3 plus 7 is 10. 3 plus 11 would be 14. Divided by 12 has a remainder of 2. 3 plus 10 is 13. Divided by 12 has a remainder of 1. 3 plus 2 is 5. 3 plus 1 is 4. We already have that in the list. And 3 plus 5 is 8. We already have that in the list. Now let's take a look at this list. We have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. So the subgroup generated by 3 and 4 is actually all of Z12. So we actually got a trivial subgroup whenever we tried to find the subgroup generated by 3 and 4. Next, I want to define a cyclic subgroup. Let's let A be an element of my group G. Let's consider the subgroup generated by this single element. It's denoted with A with my little angular brackets, and it is known as a cyclic subgroup. In this case, A is known as a generator. And this cyclic subgroup is going to contain all the possible products of A and A inverse. Let's look at an example of this. Once again, I'm going to consider the group Z12 under addition, and I want to find the subgroup generated by 4. Well, we need to start with 4. We also need 4 plus 4 is 8. 4 plus 8 is 12, which gives me a 0. And we can see that that gives me everything. 4 plus 8 is 0. 8 plus 4 is 0. 8 plus 8 would be 16. Divided by 12 has a remainder of 4. 8 plus 0 is 8. And then, of course, 0 plus 4 and 0 plus 8 are also already in this set. So that would be the entire subgroup. Let's also consider the subgroup generated by 3. This one would start with 3. 3 plus 3 is 6, plus 3 is 9, plus 3 is 12, divided by 12 has a remainder of 0. So I would have all of the multiples of 3. Just like we can have a cyclic subgroup, we can also have a cyclic group. If a group G can be generated by a single element A, we call G a cyclic group and we often write it with my angular brackets with the A. 
So if I can find a single element that generates the entire group, this would be a cyclic group. The group Z6 under addition is cyclic. The questions we might have is what is the generator? What element generates this entire group? And is it unique? Is there only one element out of Z6 that would generate my whole group? Or could I find a second one or maybe even a third one? And I encourage you to think about this one and answer it in the comments below and see if you can come up with not only the generator, but all of the possible generators for Z6 under addition.